one element that we haven't discussed yet that I think is important to why people were so averse to going with the lab leak theory. It's that it was also being tied to, frankly, a lot of things that sounded pretty racist. We know that the attacks against eight. I heard you groan there, Dan, but it's true. Oh, so please, let's talk about please, acts of the violence. Nonsense. It's, it's this it's is not, just so stupid. It's only the A this block, Dan. Just this give me dumb. a chance. It's the first block. No, it's dumb. It's not this dumb. Is dumb. Dan. Yeah, it is it's dumb. It's not dumb. No one's racist. Not dumb. They want to make sure they really? don't die from a corona. It's just stupid. Okay. Wuhan virus, Kung flu, people, Asian reporters being called Kung mm-hmm. flu. Those things are racist. The rise in attacks against members of the AIPI community, that is also racist. People They're, just beating people indiscriminately on the street because they are Asian. Yeah. Look, uh, During look, a look, pandemic where the President of the United States of America is saying China, China, China about it is racist. There is a way to stop. talk about the lab. Dan, I didn't cut you off, and I really disagreed with Jessica, what you were I saying. Jessica, I want to get—I want you made your point. I want to get Greg in here, though. You Wuhan know, plague, go. Um, yeah, listen, I don't want to hear another peep from a liberal or a talking head media buffoon ever again about a conspiracy theory, okay? They never produce evidence about any of this stuff. You had the PP hoax, remember that with the collusion thing? There was no evidence of that either, but that became an international scandal. There was no evidence that this thing ever came from a bat or a pangolin or whatever. We still haven't produced the animal. It's amazing how we have a worldwide pandemic and don't have one single sample from a bat or pangolin or others. Now, what's even more infuriating about this is anyone with common sense who was outside the liberal media ecosystem would have seen from the start that this was probably a lab leak. Let's just walk through some basic facts, folks, in case you missed these and you were reading the New York Times. We had a lab in Wuhan where the pandemic originated that studied bat coronaviruses where a coronavirus got out and they studied gain of function experiments to make them more powerful and the lab had security problems in the past must be natural. That's what liberals came to the conclusion. This has got to be one of the most infuriating stories in modern history, and it's all the media's fault. One more quick thing on this. What was incredible about it is when the Chinese government put out propaganda, don't you dare say that this was a lab leak. Someone ate bat soup. And then people commented about people eat bat soup. Everybody was called a racist for even commenting on bat soup for a story that was obviously Chinese propaganda. This is an infuriating mess. The media should just wrap up shop and go home. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. So it's very interesting when you get Dan Bongino and Jon Stewart on the same side. Having the two of those men agree on something is quite interesting. Jon Stewart, of course, a radical of the left, deeply unfunny person, and Dan Bongino, somebody who is very much of the right. But Dan Bongino and Jon Stewart both agree on one specific thing as we go through these archives, and we'll play you the Jon Stewart clip in just a second, uh, that COVID leaked from a Chinese lab. Not only that, but Dan Bongino, who used to work for the Secret Service, is totally backed up by the U.S. intelligence agencies who also believe that, and of course, by China itself. (laughs) Now even ex-boss of China's CDC said COVID may have leaked from a lab. Yeah, you'll never hear from this guy again. So this dude is um, the former head of the China Center for Disease Control, uh, George Gao, and he says that uh, COVID leaked from lab. Now, again, uh, like, take take a good hard look at this dude. You are not going to see this guy ever again. Uh, Even the former head of China's top health body now admits that the lab lab leak may have spawned COVID. So the reason why I am 100% confident, obviously, in the lab leak theory is not just because the... Uh, intel agencies and government agencies all say that it did. In a revised assessment now, the Department of Energy says that it did. Department of Energy has concluded that COVID pandemic most likely arose from a laboratory leak, according to classified intelligence. But the reason why I believe this and have believed this for as long as that Bongino clip has existed, and that damn Bongino clip uh, is from like three years ago, is because you can look at the molecular build of the actual virus itself and the spike proteins, which is the access point to the human body. And you can see that those spike proteins are manufactured. They're not of animal or natural origin. Those kind of spike proteins have a very specific genetic stamp on them. The spike proteins that were added to the COVID-19 strand 
I mean, we've done our research here and we've also brought on a ton of doctors and experts and real honest scientists. And they, they're like, okay, so here's what happens. They go up into the high caves in Eastern China, Southeastern China, and they get these bats called horseshoe bats. They're the natural repositories for COVID-like infections. The bats don't get sick for some reason, nobody knows why, but the bats are these wells of COVID-19 viruses. And so they bring them down, they, they yank them down out of their high caves, far away from human beings, and they pull them down to the caves and they put them in the laboratory and they do tests on them. But they, the, the, it doesn't matter if they bite the human being or if they spit on the human being or if the bats like somehow, like the, the code from the bat gets to the human being because there's no spike protein. The spike protein is the lock and the key to open up a human cell and infect it. And so you need to have a very, very specific, like you're talking like billions and billions, trillions of molecules and proteins that need to be put together to have a very specific type of receptor so that it can infect a human being. Now, if you look at the molecular build of a COVID, COVID-19, you'll see that one, the basis of COVID-19 is a bat coronavirus. So you can tell where that origin is, but there are no bats who live in Wuhan. That doesn't make any sense. There are also no bats being sold at the Wuhan market. That's why they told you the lie that people were eating bat soup. Chinese investigators themselves went through and debunked that lie. Chinese investigators said there were, there were no bats being sold at this market. That no one was eating bat soup. What are you talking about? That's where that originally came from because they knew they would never be able to hide that this COVID-19 came from a bat. What you see in the molecular build of COVID, uh, the COVID virus is that the protein is a specific human protein. Now, how is that possible? Were bats breeding with humans? Humans breeding with bats? Well, I don't know. Maybe they get crazy in China, but I don't think so. Is there some bat, bat boy human locked up in there? No, man. What they were doing is they were copying and pasting, stripping down and adding like they can do inside of these sophisticated laboratories. They were adding human spike proteins, human access points to the actual COVID virus itself. That's what they were doing. And then that leaked out of the lab, either on purpose or by accident. We'll never know. Well, because the Chinese government has utterly like bulldozed this thing and brought in their own military to run it now. What does that tell you? So that's what happened. What we also have found out, which further makes Dan Bongino, of course, like 100% correct in this exchange, is that Dr. Fauci was funding that experimentation. Why was Dr. Fundi Fauci funding that experimentation? Well, he was doing that because uh, Dr. Dr. Fauci was shut down doing these kind of experiments in America so he had to do them in China. So how many, how much evidence, how many, how much, how much DNA blood stained evidence do you need for normal people to just say, yeah, of course it came from a laboratory in China. Even the dumbest people in our society know this. And those people include John Stewart. Watch. What, 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 what do you mean by, do you mean like well, so this was, perhaps was, there's, there's a chance that this was created in a lab, there's an investigation. A chance? Well, but I, so, I, 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 oh my if God. there's evidence, I'd love to hear it. There's I don't a know. novel respiratory coronavirus overtaking Wuhan, China. What do we do? Oh, you know who we could ask? The Wuhan novel respiratory coronavirus lab. The disease is the same name as the lab. That's just, that's just a little too weird, don't you think? And then they I, ask I, those scientists, they're like, how did this, so wait a minute, you work at the Wuhan respiratory coronavirus lab. How did this happen? And they're like, Mm, a pangolin kissed a turtle. <laughs> and you're like, no. I, you, you, the wait, name wait, of your lab. Wait. If you look at the name. Look at the name. Can I, let me see your business card. Show me your business card. Oh, I work at the coronavirus lab in Wuhan. Oh, because there's a coronavirus loose in Wuhan. How did that happen? Maybe a bat flew into the cloaca of a turkey and then it sneezed into my chili and now we all have coronavirus. Like, come on. Okay, wait, okay, a, wait, okay. A, wait a second. Wait a what second. about this? What about this? Listen to this. Wait a second. All right. John. Oh my God. Oh my God. There's been an outbreak of chocolatey goodness near Hershey, Pennsylvania. What do you think happened? Like, oh, I don't know. Maybe a steam shovel made it with a cocoa bean or it's the <laughs> chocolate factory maybe that's it that could be that could be